Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new movie review for you. Today we're going to be talking about No One Will Save You over on Hulu. This film kind of came out of nowhere for me. I had no idea it was like in the works. I never saw a trailer for it. And then I saw it like two weeks ago. I think it premiered at a festival or something. And I just saw like people I highly respect, like Robert Cargill, uh, the writer of The Black Phone, like tweeting about it, saying it's one of like the best films he's seen all year that people need to check it out. So I like wrote it down that it was coming out to check it out. Because, you know, some of these streaming service movies aren't very good. Like the TV shows are usually a lot better than the movies. But once in a while, you get that breakthrough movie that's just incredible. The last one that really comes to mind on Hulu was uh, Palm Springs a few years ago. Incredible movie as is No One Will Save You. This movie rocks. It is so damn good. It's so good. There's barely any dialogue throughout. I think there's like one or two lines of dialogue throughout the whole movie. It's about an alien invasion, and it stars Caitlin Deaver from Booksmart, among several other great things. And uh, she has to, you know, her house gets evaded. She's like a secluded shut-in after uh, kind of a not-so-great past, and her mom has passed, so she's all alone kind of out on this farm, and, you know, these aliens start invading, and uh, she has to deal with that and how it affects her, how it affects her town, how is she going to survive, and it's just so damn good, and, like, the town doesn't like her because of some things that have happened in her past. I don't want to spoil too much because I think this film is better if you go in blind. I never saw a trailer, as I said, but after I watched the film, I did go back and see the trailer, and I do think, you know, maybe you're better suited just going in blind like I was. I knew it starred Caitlin Deaver. I knew people liked it. And I knew, uh, I think his name's Brian Duffield, wrote and directed it. And uh, that's all I knew. And I'm glad I knew that because this film's great. It was shocking. I wasn't expecting to watch a film with no dialogue. And honestly, I didn't even realize it didn't have any dialogue until after I was done. And I was checking out some people's thoughts of it on Twitter. And someone mentioned that it only has like one or two lines of dialogue. And I thought about it. I was like, Oh yeah, that's how good this film is. You don't even notice the absence of dialogue, which is like a core part of storytelling. You don't notice it at all. You're just entranced by Caitlin Deaver's fantastic, fantastic performance. The writing is fantastic. The direction, you get some really cool camera shots in this as well. So cinematography, A plus for me. The aliens look kind of like what you, like the stereotypical, like gray skin, big head, big black eyes alien. But it almost makes it more unsettling that it's not some, like, big, scary creature. Like, it's just a normal-looking alien that you would come to expect. You know, you can buy, like, the blow-up versions at the local fair and stuff like that. And it almost makes it more unsettling. And there are more designs of aliens. Like, at one point, there's, like, a big spider type of one. There's, like, this little malnourished-looking one running around at one point. And just the, the tear... The tear you can feel through Caitlin Deaver's performance as she's running away from these aliens, as she's seeing them for the first time. And it's not it's not a story like like a Terminator or Ellen Ripley, where like, you know, the first time she sees them, she's scared, but then she becomes a badass by the end and isn't scared at all. Caitlin Deaver's terrified by these things the whole time, which is accurate. Like if an alien popped through my window right now, I'd shit my pants and after an hour of knowing it's still there, if I saw another one, I'd shit my pants again because that's terrifying and this is a very realistic performance uh, as much as an alien invasion I think would be realistic this is kind of how I imagine it playing out as I said this film's incredible it's pro it's definitely probably my top five favorite films of the year like it's so damn good Caitlin Deaver should be like right there with Florence Pugh in my opinion as like the best working actress today she should be in everything she's so damn good the writing and the directing of this is great give that guy any job he freaking wants um I just don't know what else to say. This film's great. You should absolutely watch it. If you don't have Hulu, maybe sign up for the free trial and watch it that way because this film's incredible. It deserves your watching, and I would have loved to see it in a theater. Like, I know this film, you know, it's not a superhero or, like, a big budget, you know, well, big budget, like, Conjuring movie or anything like that, so it might not have crushed at the box office, but I still would have loved it if it hit theaters, and I hope it hits home media as well, because I'd love to add this to my Blu-ray collection. This film's great. Everything about it was fantastic. I didn't love the ending, but it didn't turn me off as much as it did some people I've seen, like, on Twitter talking about it. It's just kind of weird. It wasn't what I was expecting to happen, but it still worked as a good ending to this you know, the whole film was kind of unexpected, so the ending being unexpected was shouldn't have been a surprise. So, No One Will Save You gets a 9 out of 10 from me. This film's great. Definitely watch it on Hulu this weekend or this upcoming week if you got the time. It's incredible. 
definitely worth like the hour and 45 minutes it is. It blows by. It's so damn good. Go check it out on Hulu. Let me know if you've seen the film down in the comments below. If you have, let's talk about it. If you haven't, have I convinced you to go over to Hulu and check it out? And if you do, make sure you come back and let me know what you thought of it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more movie and TV content as we continue towards 300 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.